Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Debsy and place to be, it's Debsy. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys and happy Saturday. Oh, it is the weekend. It is a cooler weekend here. It is a cozy weekend. I am loving it. Da -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. So I hope everybody is having a great weekend. If not a great weekend, then at least a good weekend. Um, listen, a couple nights ago, when was it? Thursday, I watched the two Bachelor Nation installments for this year. I watched Golden Bachelor. We recapped that last night. Is that my hair? Oh, no, that's right there. Okay. <laughs> and I also watched, um, between Thursday and Friday, I watched Bachelor in Paradise. We are going to get into Bachelor in Paradise this week. Mmm. Katie Thurston is back. And also, Justin V is back. So that makes it, what, <laughs> three? Yes, three former contestants that um, that were Team Rachel when she was the Bachelorette. So Justin is back. But before we get to that, we're going to have to get to the cliffhanger from last week. And that was, who is Michael going to ask on his date? Please, 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 please let it be Olivia. Everybody is hoping that it's Olivia, including Nasty Cat. And yes, it is Olivia. Michael asks Olivia on a date and so excited. So they go out, they're dancing. And I'm going to tell you, Michael is fine. Michael is fine. He is all kinds of fine. And they really do seem to be getting along well. Although, I don't know what kind of date it was. All they did was like, they danced and then they sat down. By, was there a fire? I'm making, I'm feeling like there was a fire and they sat and they talked. She had said that she doesn't want to go like all in because of everything that happened, but I feel like she, she might, she might. I like those two together. I think they're both very um, genuine, I don't want to say attractive. I was going to say attractive. They are both attractive, but I feel like they're just two down to earth, like genuine people. So I like those two together. Um, back at the beach, John Henry and Kat are together and she's honestly, she has just gotten with him and she's really talking like she could fall in love with him. And then she drops the bombshell that wait, she wants to stop hurting people because she likes how how John Henry handled Olivia, how he, you know, sewed things up with Olivia. She wants to stop hurting people. We'll see. Um, Rachel is thinking that Tanner gave, gave her the rose because it's like a friendship rose. Like maybe he just gave it to me so that I could get another chance to find love. She doesn't know what Tanner wants. And she's open to exploring. Meanwhile, Tanner's not sure where he stands with Rachel. So, listen, when you hear that, you know. Whenever she says, whenever somebody says, I'm open, somebody's going to come down those steps. Not just anybody came down those steps. Two, two former Bachelorette contestants came down the stairs. First of all, it is Jordan. Jordan V. From Rachel's season. Jordan is the race car driver. She had it bad for them. When he, when he was on her season, did she, did he get the first date? I think he did get the first date and it was, they went in that zero gravity thing in the back of an airplane. And we all, listen, I remember when she let him go, I was surprised. I was very surprised. So he's there. He's looking forward to seeing her. And there's Taylor. Taylor was from charity season. He went home the very first night. Producers, producers are always are, are always gonna make me laugh with their description, like where you would typically put what their occupation is. They put charity's background extra. <laughs> because he was literally just on the top, just standing there. I don't even know if she talked to him. He went home. Um, so they're both there now. I believe they said that there's only going to be one one date card handed out. 
well, you know who's gonna get it. So they get down onto the beach. Um, Taylor pulls Cat, pulls Cat and Mercedes. Um, he says that if he gets a date card, he would ask Mercedes. Mercedes would say no. Trust me, son, you're not gonna be getting a date card. I don't think he's going to be getting a date card any anytime soon because next, it's not next week. Next week is not the next, um, the next episode. Next episode is going to be on the 30th. So I, that's going to be when the, um, rose ceremony, rose ceremony takes place, which the ladies are handing out the roses. He's enjoy your time in paradise. Enjoy it. Drink up because I don't, I don't think he's going to be getting a day card. He's going to be going home. I don't understand why they had him come down. But anyways, Jordan pulls who? He pulls Rachel. And he's her what if. Like, and she says that. What if? What if I had not eliminated him? And she says that she would definitely go on a date if he asked. He asked. She could not get up and run away quick enough. She didn't even glance at Tanner. There wasn't, and there wasn't, it wasn't even like, can I talk with Tanner? It was, let's go, let's not even, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. It wasn't, there was nothing. So at that point I was like, oh, well, Tanner's, Tanner's gonna go home. So what they did on their date, Rachel and Jordan, they did tantric yoga. Tanner, at this point I was like, Damn it, Tanner, pack your bags and come back to the, come back to Western Pennsylvania. I mean, come on. Somebody's waiting for you to console you. Hmm. 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 Um, and then seriously though, when he when Jordan took his shirt off, I did get the vapors a little bit. I was like, oh shit. Oh my gosh. And then they were looking to each other's eyes and kissing, and I was like, uh-oh. Mm. I don't know. These two might be made for each other. As much as I love Tanner, I was like, oh shit, he took his shirt off. These two, forget it, Tanner's done. Meanwhile, back at the beach, um, uh, so a little bit later on, Jordan and Rachel come back, um, and Tanner pulls Rachel, and they talk. He basically just wants to see like where he stands with her. And before that, he's talking to, I cannot remember who, he's talking and he's tired of seeing like all of his friends, everybody is married and has kids. And his, I guess his parents are constantly asking like, when are you gonna get married? He's like, fuck off my back, I don't know. Once again, there's somebody here in Westmoreland County for you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I doubt that he would want a 55 year, five, 55 year old chunky lady with severe osteoarthritis in the knees who hates going out. So there's that. The dream has died. So, but he is really truly looking for his, his future wife. Um, and he would like to see like her outside of here and he would like to see what could happen between the two of them like in the real world. So they talk and he just couldn't get a read on what what she's thinking. Um, he feels like she just has put her walls back up. Um, and he, she thinks once again that Tanner just wants a friendship and, and he gave her a rose just for another, you know, just to keep her here, to give her another chance with somebody else. Um, and Rachel was talking to Tyler and, and he, she had said this to him and he was like, no, he chose you cause he really likes you. But at, with that talk, um, Tanner had no idea of what, of what was going on. And the crazy thing is, is when Rachel said, um, I know what you've been, I know you've been through so much, so I don't want to add to it. What? What are you talking about with Kat? That's gone. That's that's gone because a little bit later on when they're doing yoga on the beach, um, two of the three men that she's leading in yoga are like her exes from the beach, Braden and Tanner, and they're getting along fine. So I don't I don't know what she's talking about. 
Um, I felt like she was putting up her walls because she was, she knew that she wanted Jordan. And that's why she was kind of putting her, putting her walls up. She then talked to um, Wells. And Wells was basically like, listen, you got to ask yourself, what does Rachel want? The reason why Rachel is there is to find someone to live the rest of her life with. Um, so she's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know. She's conflicted now between Jordan and Tanner. Tanner pulls Rachel again. They talk. Um, she once again says she wasn't sure where he was at at the rose ceremony. Um, he says he wants to be, he only wants to date her. He wants to be exclusive with her. And she says, well, she says, I want to try this. I want to try this out. And he, he is clearly, Tanner is there clearly to find a wife. Sure, he ha he was kissing around a lot with a lot of women, but ultimately, I feel like he really is there to find someone, to find a soulmate. And the same with Rachel. And she, he's talking about, you know, what he wants to do and how, how much he, all he thinks about is finding someone and getting married and having like a, a life together. That's very appealing to her and that's very sexy to her. So she, so they decide to give it a try. They decide to let's, let's try this. Now, unpopular opinion when, when they were talking, I honestly, I could kind of see them outside of paradise living a life because they're both like, they're both, they both seem to be responsible, responsible adults. Not saying that Jordan is not, but Jordan to me is like adventure and is like, you know, we're, we're going to be living on the edge all the time. I'm not saying that's how he is. I'm saying that's how I perceive it to be. That he's like living on the edge and he's a race car driver and we're living this life. But with, with Tanner, I feel like you could have that, but he also just wants that, that downtime where, you know, he's... He's at, he's at home watching Netflix and he's just, you know, living a down to earth lifestyle. You know, that's what I think. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I probably am. Um, okay. Next, Aaron asks Eliza to be his girlfriend, which I, I was, I thought it was sweet, but I kind of already thought they were. Um, so she is, she is charmed. She is charmed by him. I think it's sweet. Okay. Next we have the truth box, a little truth box in with Wells. They read a few of them. Um, more than maybe the same person had put that they think that Peter shaves his legs. He says he doesn't. Um, also somebody said, Somebody put in there, I think John, Henry, and Kat are going to go the distance. That was probably Kat. Um, and also, there was one that said, everyone knows Tyler's not that into Mercedes. He really needs to come clean on the truth or something like that. Now, this throws Mercedes into a downward spiral of doubt. Um, she's wondering, like, did he just come here for a fling? And she thinks... She thinks that they are just too similar and he's been, he's been coasting for far too long. So, um, Avon says, listen, you got to push him a little bit, push him to do like a set one bar for one, for something to be done. And then if you don't reach this, this milestone or this one, you know, this one milestone by this time, then it's just not going to work. So Mercedes and Tyler talk and she comes out and she says, listen, I'm wondering if you maybe have walls up from what happened last year on the beach with Brittany. Um, and he says maybe a little bit, um, but you're beautiful. And she was like, um, true. Listen, she is, I think she's a mean girl, but she is beautiful, but she's looking for more than that. She's looking for, because to live your life with someone, you have to have more in common than you think he's hot and he thinks you're hot. You have to be 
compatible in your personality. You have to be able to live together. It's not all just about looks. Um, and he says, and then they would be long distance. So he says if long distance works, then it does. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. It was a very like a savoir faire kind of like, oh well, mm, you know, not how you would treat some somebody that you're potentially looking into going the, you know, going the distance and having like a marriage with. Um, uh, this conversation, listen, I, I put an opinion. Uh, this conversation really didn't give, didn't give Mercedes what she wants. Um, it, it, he, he doesn't want, it doesn't seem like he wants what she wants. Um, to, it, to me and listen, Jess said this, but I tend to agree. Tyler's handling this, this whole dating situation here. Like it's a fling or like it's a fling and then it could peter out into friendship. I agree. Um, there is still a new date card for Taylor. He's like, there's going to be a date card. I got to get one. There is a date card, but it's a double date. It's for Avon and Kylie and Sam and Peter. Um, they go out. There, there's, uh, they go out to the beach. There's like twerking. There's drinking. Um, and... And that was kind of like, and that was kind of like forgettable. But the nice thing was, um, Peter had committed to Sam. And listen, this is the, uh, this is the, this is a quiet romance of, um, of paradise. Like they don't really focus a lot on these two, but quietly they're just, they're building a really nice relationship. So Jess and Blake. Things are going very well for them. Um, she says things are going great and they're both very, very happy and things can only get better from here. Fuck the producers because who comes down? Katie Thurston. She's talking to Jesse. She says, um, after they broke up from their engagement, she moved on sooner than he did. She started dating sooner than, um, than he did. And she thinks, she thinks he's going to be pissed, which he is. Um, she gets down to the beach and everybody is like, oh, that's Katie Thurston. Oh my God. Shit. That's Katie Thurston. Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> what, what, what? And who does he pull? She pulls Blake. Um, just to address the elephant in the room, they talk Turns out they haven't talked in two years. Um, they broke up. They broke up over the phone, and she's like, "Do you do you remember the voicemails, the voice notes I sent you?" He's like, "Yes, I remember all of them." And she was very, he was very bitter over all of this. Um, so you're thinking like, "Wait, is she just here?" I was thinking, "Is she here just to address this?" Or is she here to date? I mean, because we saw it with Hannah Brown. And everybody was like, is she here to date? I didn't think she was there to date because I thought she was engaged. But you're like, wait a minute. This is fucked up. If if they're, if Jess and him are really happy and then here comes Katie Thurston and they're going to date. Uh, uh, uh She's here to date. Oh, that's, that's shitty. Um, he's... So they're talking and she says, she says she's sorry. And he, he's still pissed, but he can remember the good. He can remember the good as well as the bad. Meanwhile, Jess is saying that, um, okay, maybe it's good that she's here and we can get this out of the way. He can have closure and we can get this out of the way. Katie, on the other hand, is like, how old is Jess. And he's like, she's 24. She is really trying. Is she, I'm thinking if he's, if she's here to date, then he's trying to throw some, she's trying to throw some doubt on Jess because, because she's old, because she's younger. Listen, I'm going to tell you what, Jess is younger than him. I feel like Jess is, is very mature for, for her age. Um, uh, my heart is kind of breaking for Jess. 
because she has been she's been through the ringer the last the last few weeks. I mean, what with Genevieve coming in and now Katie, you know, now she is saying I I I don't know if I wrote this down incorrectly, but she's saying um she's not sure if she is 100% in love yet. And she's not sure if Blake is all in or not. Um, oh, listen, I'm going to tell you what. One thing, when he went down onto the beach with Katie, oh, listen, I'm going to tell you what. As much as I love Tanner, ooh, Blake, Blake Moines got the best damn body on that beach. He's tan. He got those eight, that eight pack. Oh, my Lord. Ooh. I mean, listen, once again. Tanner girly till I die. However, Blake Moines. Oh, shit looking like a snack. Um, Katie, Katie said she regrets how it was handled. Um, and I, when she was talking, she was saying that. I'm like, I think she's trying to bank on their past. And she's trying to like get in there and create some doubt with him on Jess. And then get in there and use their, you know, use their history. And a question to Katie was, from a producer, was, are you still in love with Blake? There was no answer. And then she got a little, like, weepy. And that's when I was like, bitch, you better not be there. You better not be there to tear them apart. Mm. So they come back, and she makes, I can't even remember the joke she made. But it was some cringy joke about, about, we came, oh, we came back, and that's something that Blake could never do, or something like that. It didn't land. Nobody thought it was funny. She then lets everybody off the hook and says, she's not here to date. She's here for the Bachelor in Paradise roast. And it's going to be like teams. Um, the first thing I thought was, this is dumb. This is going to be used to create some drama, but it's stupid. Um, uh, I'm going to say Avon's impression of Rachel was dead on, dead on. Um, Olivia did not take any prisoners. Olivia was good. There's two guys that dug a grave for themselves. Tyler was already in it with Mercedes. So him making fun of Mercedes, not the greatest thing to do. And my boy Tanner, ugh. What is wrong with you? He made fun of Rachel. I mean, everybody else was, everybody was picking everybody apart. But Tanner, what were you thinking? I mean, you just got on good footing with Rachel. So now you're going to put this out here and be like, when we found out there was going to be, uh, we, we found out there was going to be a bachelor, a bachelorette on the, on the beach. We thought it was Gabby, going to be Gabby. Instead, we get Rachel or something like that. Rachel was hurt. I don't blame Rachel. She was crying. I don't blame Rachel for being for being um, hurt by that. I mean, she once again she was worried about like what he was thinking before, and then they smoothed 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 everything over, and now this Tanner, you're typically really smart. That was a dumb dumb move. This whole thing was just. It was a dumb idea. So, Mercedes and Rachel are upset. Jess, I thought, was going to be really upset, too. But Jess said she's still in there, still in on it for Blake. So, it's going to be the rose ceremony. There's going to be three men going home. And Rachel is kind of, like, floating the idea of withholding the rose for a week and being like, I can't make a decision. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, Blake is have, Blake says though, that he needs to have a talk with Jess before he can accept her rose. They go down to the beach, they sit on a disgusting day bed and they talk and, she, and he says, how are you? And she's like, great. How are you? Not so good. So he basically is saying that in his time when he was with Katie, he knew that he was in love. He felt that love. In, even though he was with Katie for a less amount of time, he's, he, but he does not feel the love 
with, he's not there yet with Jess and he spent more time with her. And it seems to me like he's kind of, like the age is maybe coming up for him. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if Jess is going to self-eliminate or not. Um, I had said it before. I honestly, I, I don't think Jess is made for these shows. I love Jess. I really don't think she's made for, for these, for these shows. I, I think she is, um, an emotional girl and an emotional woman. I, I don't, I don't know that she's made for these. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to tell you if she does not end up with Blake, this is the last time that Blake Moynes needs to be on a bachelor show. This is what, this is like, it's his fourth time. Fourth. He was on three bachelorettes. Was it three? He was on three. He was probably literally on three bachelorettes. And now this. No. If, if this doesn't work out, this is it, Blake Moynes. You're fine, but that's it. So we're next week, don't forget, next week, no bachelor no bachelor programming at all because it is um, Thanksgiving. And so the 30th, the 30th, we have the finale for Golden Bachelor. We have uh, the um, rose ceremony for Bachelor in Paradise. Hopefully the rose ceremony because it's coming to, I don't want to, I don't want this show to end. This show has been like one of my go-tos for like my requirement of getting vitamin D and that's vitamin drama. So <laughs> do you like that? So, okay. With that being said, um, let me know in the comments if you watched, if you did watch what you thought and I'm going to get going now. But before I do that, if nobody told you yet today, it's late. They should have told you. I love you. Your love seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, positivity, and understanding out there and also take care of one another and as I always say please number one be aware of your surroundings number two please stay safe so I will see you guys tomorrow for a weekly review and reset and who knows what else and I will see you tomorrow bye guys